apples. The only raw material used in producing our natural cider is the apple. To obtain a good cider, the fruit needs to have reached the right degree of ripeness so that it can achieve optimum performance in the press. The apples are harvested in early October, after which the production commences right away, although this also depends on the apple variety and climatic conditions. There are many varieties of apple for making cider. They nearly all fall into three types, acid, bitter and sweet, depending on how rich they are in organic acids and tannins. At Barisia Tua, we use Galician varieties of apple, French apples and local ones. However, thanks to recent encouragement given to local products and in particular to the support from the Euskal label, quality certification of certain local Basque products, local apple production is being gradually revived. Washing. The apples are transported to our cider house in lorries. On arrival, they are unloaded in bulk and taken to the canal connected to a water tank, where they are dragged along so that they can be washed, selected and crushed. In this first phase, the stones or soil stuck to them are removed by the water. After that, the leaves, twigs and rotten apples are removed. Finally, we carry out a manual selection process mainly to remove any apples that are too ripe as they could adversely affect the production of cider that is natural, safe and that has the right properties. Crushing After the selection process, they go into the crusher where they are crushed. Care is taken not to crack the apple pips or scratch the skin and thus facilitate the subsequent pressing and preserve the original flavour. The crushing must be done very carefully and it must under no circumstances be excessive, otherwise the result will be a cloudy juice that will be difficult to clarify afterwards. Pressing. As with the crushing processes, the pulp makes its way into the pneumatic press, which in turn will extract the must. When the crushed pulp is ready for the automatic press, it has to be left to macerate for an hour. The must obtained from the press is cloudy, sweet and thick, and this is the mainstay of a quality cider. When the must has been extracted in the pressing process, it is taken by a system of pumps and hoses to the tank to facilitate decanting and starts the fermentation process. The tanks can be of different materials. At Barisia Tua we have about 60 cupellas, barrels with a capacity of over 1,000 litres, made of wood, polyester and stainless steel. Next to these cupillas, we also have two refrigerated warehouses to control the fermentation process in line with our requirements. After the pressing, a residue of crushed apple pulp, pomace, is produced. And this is mainly used in animal feed and in the production of cosmetics. This way we ensure the sustainability of the waste in harmony with the environment and nature. <laughs> 